All right, all right, all right. What's up, crackhead? Today I'm back rebuilding the 2010 New York Knicks. Now, I already made the trade for Carmelo Anthony to come over from Denver at the beginning of the season. Why? Because I wanted to. We got him and Chauncey Billups, and I also signed Allen Iverson for good measure. He was just in free agency. This is very why, why does he have no career stat? You know what? Whatever. It is what it is. Here's what this weak little semi mediocre early 2010s team looks like right now. And honestly, screw it. I'm going to just simulate for now. Because, like, let's be honest, I'm here because the Knicks in the 2010s failed miserably. But as of right now, they're kind of decent they're kind of okay ring bound over this miami team or chicago or any of these uh i don't know but i'm not really scared of atlanta but they're they're doing pretty well um yeah i don't know about ring bound currently but you know san antonio okay oh yeah i forgot about how good the west is too so far through 34 games it's a pretty well balanced scoring effort from the big four but the role players are absolutely trash and so is this man ronnie T good guy starting center five rebounds a game on the worst estimated win yeah hold on good god who gave brennan haywood with a six-year deal all right so you gotta finesse where you gotta finesse and chauncey billups is 34 years old rock with him cool dude but you know good good facilitator i know i know he's helping us win also rock with you too landry fields with that being said brooke lopez 22 year old center averaging 19 and 7 can he shoot threes yet i don't think so no that's yeah, whatever it's the 2010s you know who the knicks had around this era is tyson chandler but i don't think we'll have the money to sign him in free agency so and at least for now screw it get this old man chauncey off my team welcome welcome to new york you were close enough already ready brooke lopez i'm gonna just keep ai for the hell of it even though he's gonna get worse maybe i'll trade him in the off season or something he'll be our new point guard and i guess right now they want to start calling as a bookie huh? also why are we running an 11 man rotation do not do this i get this i guess this trash can ronnie turry up has to play off the bench that's fine also did i take travis outlaw's trash contract did i do that yeah i did um yeah you gotta go we need a we need a point guard we need a more facilitating backup point guard i rock with tony douglas cool dude from this era but he's he's averaging less than one assist a game he's averaging more rebounds and assists so that tells you how his point guard skills are oh my guy ron i don't think we need you but i, I was funny seeing your picture though moment of silence for the champions we only you know what i'll take kyle corver and cj watson for roger mason ronnie uh, who cares whatever the hell it is just do it bada bing bada boom cj watson the new six man sean williams trash self playing back up big i'll make it a uh anthony randolph's another big so i'll make it a nine man rotation there you go pretty nice pretty decent why is brooke lopez mad and telling me he's gonna be moving on after the season shut the hell up why are you why are you angry lebron eh, where's my guy uh no 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 nicks on any teams we are the seventh seed that's pretty bad yeah that's pretty bad and got four one to buy chicago i'm not i'm not here to complain we have work to be done which might include finessing in the draft and things of that nature dirk finals mv oh wow he did it he actually did it wrong team but he did it oh, I did it. oh yeah i'd like to take my teammates and Kobe for passing me the ball. Cat, of course the Cavs get the number one pick for Kyrie again. What 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 spot did they jump up from? Because I saw they were not. Okay, they were like sixth or something. We have the 18th pick, which could actually exactly land us Iman Shumpert. Because that's where we got him last time around, I'm pretty sure. But, okay, no, nah, I don't want to trade Amari this early into it. He'd, he'd have to prove to me he's a failure or something before I did that. And he definitely wasn't this season. Want to screw over Charlotte? But I can't trade Brooke because he's annoying. See, this could be tough because there's, there's a world where I just fail and, like, end up in the modern day with no rings. So I kind of got to make this work. Uh, the fourth pick would guarantee us one of either Clay, Kawhi, Kyrie, or Jimmy Butler. Allen Iverson, CJ Watson in the pick. Okay, no. Here you go. How about uh, two seconds? Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks. All right, we got the fourth pick out of Allen Iverson and CJ Watson. Now we really, uh, yeah, Kyrie's ranked fourth and we kind of need him because uh, we don't have a point guard anymore. But at the same time, why is Clay actually Wait, whoa, whoa, okay, I clicked on the wrong dude. Um, They're actually ranked really low, these two. I also didn't trade our, our other pick, so that could be interesting too. I kept the other first we have. What the hell? I, I threw three of our scrubs back in the trade finder. They're trying to trade me back Allen Iverson. I actually might do it. Second round pick, low-key kind of might be kind of decent. I don't know how deep this draft is i know it's good but i don't know if 2k will make it good or if the draft class i downloaded also we saved a lot of cap space off of these picks or off that trade off of a lot of our trades is nine million for john salmons we could take that on that salary for like two million that's pretty decent i'm not gonna lie all right well screw um you know what all in all this just saves more salary and all these guys suck anyways can i do ai for without this pick oh the, <laughs> yeah screw it man alan iverson is back the only person i wanted i wanted to keep out of that trade can i just trade him again lou will he's young he makes too much money though i thought that was jerry west for a second and eh, screw it. we'll just go to the draft Kawhi goes first Kyrie goes second Derek williams goes third man we could have used uh i don't know anybody but why why is 
Kemba. Is Kemba really going to be the go to this? Can I see, uh, throw four and 18 in here and see if I like get Kawhi on the trade finder? I'm just doing whatever I can, man. We're going to need help around here. I mean, Kemba is a New Yorker, obviously, though. But let's be honest. I'm not picking him over, uh, over Jimmy Butler or one of them. I'm not a crackhead. A little bit. Okay, great. We get Derek Williams. That really just made my day. You might call me a crackhead, but screw it. Since they all got all NBA potential and he's the highest rated. Kemba Walker, welcome to the Mecca, the guard of the New York Knicks. Nope, Clay went next. Good God. Um, uh, yeah, screw it. <laughs> We're out of here. Um, Jimmy Butler is still available. He is. We are at Iman's here, but Jimmy Butler is still available at 18. Yep, thank you. Seemed like a successful draft to me. And all these second round players are fake. Eh, screw it. I'll take this guy anyways. Damn, I wish I could have got Kawhi or Kyrie or any of them. They're the same overall. I thought Kemba was about to be way higher. That's fine, though. It is what it is. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot. We have money in free agency because Melo is a free agent. I did forget about that. Well, we're committed. So, uh, player option, no trade. Am I really going to do it? I'm going to do the no trade clause and everything. Let's see how he responds to this. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks. Also, this free agency does kind of suck. How much money do we actually have, though? Can I uh, go to like Al Horford and go to off from the Mac? We still would have 10 million left or something like that. 8 million. Okay. Oh, damn. I Could I have afforded Tyson? I might trade Brooke Lopez and just keep Tyson. That's really my guy. Oh, JR, too. I'm acting like Tony Parker isn't right here, though. How, how much he want? He wants too much. But here's the thing, though. Kyle Korver's making 5 million, and that's really it. That's the only guy I could trade. So if I traded him, I would have 5 million more dollars to spend. You know what? That sounds good to me. Kyle, kick rocks. Damn, Tony Parker don't rock with us. Yeah, well, we got Melo and JR, so that's pretty good. And Tony went back to the Spurs. Okay, well, worst comes to worst, though. I mean, Tyson Chandler's still right there, and we still have Kemba Walker to lead our team. Hello, Michael Beasley. How are you? Damn, he averaged 20. Do I go get Michael Beasley and say, screw it? How good was Minnesota with him and Kevin Love? Oh, they were trash. They were trash as hell and they got Kyrie now how much is Be Beasley only okay 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 so I don't know how much cap space we actually have but I'm gonna offer Beasley a four-year deal and I'm gonna offer Tyson Chandler as well why is it telling me to decline JR now now we ran out of money oh now we ran out of money okay you know what we already have Brooke I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm get JR and Mike Bees on long-term deals too they're both young we already have Brooke Lopez to hold down the middle man or whatever he does he, he really doesn't get rebounds though could I trade Brooke right now and say screw it we just going all out he gets a lot of buckets but he doesn't he doesn't board up you know what though i'm gonna go with the overabundance of buckets jr smith michael beasley carmelo anthony what a three what a three person signing right here uh tyson's now getting his offers good for you buddy any like minimum players Kenyon mar okay yeah yeah go for whoever is he minimum no he's not there you go rasheed wallace old so all right i just signed t mac shane Battier, and rasheed wallace i think i'm cooking and all those players were accepted so at the pg i've still got a AI and Kemba Walker. Then I got JR, T Mac, and Jimmy Butler at the two. Jimmy Butler is trash right now, though, so he probably won't play yet. Mello and Beasley with Shane Battier, then Amari, then Brooke, Rasheed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I move um, Battier to the four, probably? It really doesn't matter, though. I just went out and made another elite sign. Uncle Jeff, Uncle Jeff Green, still 24 years old. Yeah, we're, we're set for a minute now. Steve Novak. What? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do not just offer him a one year. Steve Novak. We'll go, we'll go two years since you want to be stingy. Yao Ming? Nah, he wants too much money that old bastard all right i got a lot of players on the team now Allen Iverson went down a lot. I actually just signed um, Patty Mills as a potential future, you know, point guard rotation type of guy. But for the most part, though, Kemba Walker will probably be starting the season off rip, which honestly fits the team still pretty well. They still want to start AI. I'm not going to lie. I disagree. I'm going to relegate AI to the bench. Also, why are they trying to start Kendrick Perkins over Brooke Lopez? What, am I in the Twilight Zone? How did Doug Collins get here? I don't I don't really care. Oh, this is funny, right? So they got all these 2010 playbooks on. Watch this. I'm about to put on a, a current day Screw it, the Cavs be cooking. I'm putting on the Cavs playbook. Yo, I'm looking at the standings right now. When the hell did the Magic get the second seed? <laughs> In, in real life in real life when the hell did the magic get c2 man respect damn wait this is this is per game stats Melo's only averaging 16 we got too many hoopers and it's i mean it's kind of working michael beasley's averaging 14 does he have like a 99 shot tennessee 84 kemba shooting trash right now okay maybe iverson is better than okay i mean i am running like an 11 man rotation but that was just to keep things kind of even jeff green is doing a disservice to this team right now so jeff sorry buddy screw we're getting two hoopers 
Hoopers, Shane Battier and T-Mac, see ya. Jeff Green, see ya. I'm bringing in Ryan Anderson and JJ Redick. Two Caucasian men to shoot the ball from beyond the arc. Love it. I'm making a 10-man rotation. Russell Westbrook, MVP. Raymond Felton, six man of the year. So yeah, obviously he was on the Knicks for like two seconds, but I had to trade him for Melo because they actually did in real life. And then they got him back eventually for like Kurt or Marcus Camby or something. Kurt Taunt? No, no, it was somebody else. I don't remember. Um, We're going to have no players make any teams because they all like were so even in stats, but third seed, cool. First round against Orlando. They still got Dwight. We're down to one. This this loser, Brooke Lopez, is still pit. Yo, I, mm, I can't wait to trade. And the worst part is he's a free agent and I can't wait for him to. All right, hold on. You know what? I know he's getting baked by Dwight right now. Oh, snap. No, he's not. He just he just held Dwight to five for 15. All right, screw it. I'm not sim casting. No, nope, we lost. Uh, yep. Brooke Lopez actually let us. That's funny. I probably should have shortened the rotation at the end, but it is what it is. We got hoopers all around and guess what? They didn't hoop. They locked us up. The magic did. And we lost by three. They went to the conference finals and OKC, right? Forgot. Yeah, we got to we got to get pretty good. At least, though, we have a lot of players right now. So this is the thing, right? In order to win this this decade, you got to Jesus Allen iverson retired and rasheed wallace okay you gotta get good enough to beat okc basically that's that's how this era goes so um pull out all the stops oh i just saw a draft pick what pick did i steal finesse via utah yeah sure whatever okay that's cool all right so 2012 this is the anthony davis draft now that oh and dame yeah now that that would be pretty cool to get ad and put him next to yeah but amari um, okay so amari and Melo ended up being our leading scorers well i mean they were off rip but and ryan anderson with 16 points per game i think he played half the season with us because he started for 42 games so we probably benched him for the other half i might need to start michael beasley next season because can i see uh who was helping us really win okay well Ron damn ryan anderson is that good all right so no to keep these four around for a while brooke lopez was good but if you're gonna be pissed off for eternity i might just trade him and then uh we also do i mean kemba's just got to get better but we still do kind of need help at the point guard okay um i just traded jj reddick kendrick perkins two first round picks and our pick this year which was pick 12 for the first pick in the draft uh three first two in the 12th pick two trash players not really trash but whatever and with that being said new york first in the clock i don't care if he's number two ranked anthony davis welcome to new york that's it don't talk to me um we now have ad 83 overall he'll be our starting probably center i know he kind of hates playing center but screw it it's a video game you can't talk well i guess he can talk because we, we've heard a lot from brooke lopez good god and he gets better at center so there you go he's actually already elite and then what's gonna happen is i'm gonna re-sign brooke in free agency because we're not gonna have money to sign anybody else anyways and then i'm gonna trade him why does it say no bird rights for him though he, he's not interested in negotiating a hey, watch me match this off for the second i get the chance buddy boy damn how much money are we over the cap 24 this would put us yeah yeah no chris paul yeah oh damn that would have been fire to get someone like chris paul or actually yeah ju just him and derrick rose but they're derrick rose and westbrook are both restricted so screw that i guess my guy jeff teague you know it's crazy i was literally just actually it's on my screen right now i was literally just watching a clip from his podcast and buddy said he wanted to play for a big market team at some point in his career so here you go damn it wait he's not gonna sign here bastard never mind guess i lied uh we get jason kidd again he's about to get super old though and he's kind of trash because we are as of right now we actually are still gonna need i mean we have kemba but we're gonna need another point guard you know and i kind of just got rid of all like the fluff on the team by making the trade that i did we're just gonna need a uh yeah point guard george hill is restricted the spurs never traded him damn i rock with jeff teague too i feel like he would have been a good fit but you know I'll, I'll take jason oh damn he wants a lot of money though good god i'll be honest i don't really know nothing about tj ford not really my era i feel like he kind of dissipated around the, out, out of the nba around the time i started watching with that being said uh Welcome to the team. Damn, Jeff Teague went to the Pacers. Again, Brooke Lopez talking about he don't want to negotiate. Okay, well, let me see who's offering you. Trash one-year deals. Hopefully, someone gives him a good contract because I need him to actually get a good contract so I could trade him because if I give him a qualifying offer, he's going to have a no-trade clause. I'm going to be heated. There you go. Brooke Lopez, Celtics offer. Got him back. Hey, Brooke, guess what? I'm about to trade you right now. Don't even think twice. All right, I didn't trade him because I wanted to see if he improved at all in the player progression. I'm really that grimy. And I low-key might just keep him as a backup center just for the hell of it just piss him off even more just true brooke lopez hatred train even though he don't deserve it he, he seemed like a cool dude him and his brother like star wars and all that nerdy stuff i never watched a star wars movie shout out to 
Star Wars, though. Shout out to Dick Rose. Okay, I'm not surprised Dame won rookie of the year because AD probably touches the ball four times a game. I was snapped. I just saw AD was on the all defensive team. We were. Th Wait, how did I get here? I wanted to look at what was going on at the trade deadline, but I forgot to. Oh, well. AD averaged 14 this season. Melo, 17. And Amari, 16. Sure. Just team ball personified. Playing Brooklyn in the first round when we stole Brook Lopez. Oh, we stole Brook Lopez and they signed Dwight Howard. We're playing Dwight again. All right, this year was easier. Got them out of here in five. Wizards, John Wall and Nick Young. I guess that's that's the new duo. Pack them up. And the Bulls. Derrick Rose, MVP. Okay, we're down 3-2. It's kind of scary. Shivering my timbers right now. And we won that one. That's good. Derek had like 36 and 11, but it doesn't matter. At least not yet until this game. Game seven. Are we actually going to do it? Oh, let me not speak too fast. We've done it. The Knicks are going to the NBA finals. And here, here's the real challenge. Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Greg Oden, Serge Ibaka against our crew. Holy hell. We are getting smoked in game one. Yeah, this might be like a 10-year thing. Melo might be winning, winning a ring on his wheelchair. Yep, we're down 3-0 and that's it they they got us out of here they just have better star power and better team better team well once again uh you know if they're if they're playing unfair i guess i gotta get unfair no more mr nice guy and that's any picks up here no but Giannis is in this draft so uh kind of gotta do it must be done if they're gonna play unfair guess who else is gonna oh my god they just accepted that i traded uh two first a second round pick nate robinson jason richardson and landry fields for the first pick in the draft now what's crazy is i could have very easily just made it brooke lopez but i was like you know what i'm gonna just trade him for a star or something i'm not gonna settle and just give away my coveted asset for nothing also we got a son white side down here who's just kind of pissed off now what type of star could i get for brooke lopez because we're never gonna have money anyways shout out to all the broke people out there considering what we have i don't see anything that's like a super worthwhile trade for brooke i mean i could look at the uh eh, whatever we'll just keep him i ain't finding a, a damn offer for him i'll go Giannis. hello number 41 screw it we're musty around here oh yeah only thing that sucks is he also wasn't good yet so just like jimmy butler who's just sitting here i mean i'm gonna have to just force him into the rotation at this point because they got to get good jimmy doesn't seem to be improving might just trade him Jermaine o'neal solid old vet in this year's edition of player progression well amari and Melo are both already getting worse kemba walker finally took a decent leap jimmy butler eh. and Giannis, the worst player on the team will i force him to play yes shoot I, what i'm slowly but surely realizing is that yeah it's just tough to beat okc um they they kind of ruined their own they 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 created their own demise i'm gonna make Giannis and jimmy the last two guys in our rotation playing 17 minutes a game each now let's see if this season randomly takes a turn also you know what Doug collins yeah, he's running this defensive system this idiot yeah run seven seconds you could stick around i guess also let's change up the game plan while we're at it let's uh go ahead and i i sometimes i do change this stuff sometimes i really don't care today was one of those days but also where's that playbook at and yeah, we had the Cavs on who's a team that just like really overtly good you know what? Where's the 2017 Warriors? Can I access their stuff? No, I'll just take the... You know what? Screw it. Just take the Thunders plays. Yeah, let Melo play like KD and all that stupid stuff. Okay, I finally remember to stop at the trade deadline, but it might not be a good year to. We're the first seed. It's still OKC world, right? Oh, what? what? Did they lose Harden? No. What the hell happened to you guys? Uh, they'll probably still be good when the playoffs come around. Why are the Warriors so good? You know what? That's a question we can we can always... That That's a... Brooklyn, who we beat in the... Oh, they got Darren Williams again? That's pretty funny. Amari and Mello want to resign. Okay. Let's take a gander at this. Well, actually, you know, we're never going to have money anyways. So, and I, I'm, I was going to resign Mello regardless, but Amari's been scaring me lately. So, yeah, Mello, two years. Amari's got two years left. I'm going to wait until his contract is where we got one year left to resign. Eh, do I care that much? No. No, actually, never mind. I give up. All I care right now is anybody hurting my basketball team. If not, we can continue. Kemba's giving up a big positive contribution now to 85 overall. Uh, Hassan Whiteside, you don't even play, so who really cares? I'm gonna just trade the guys that are on one-year deals for first-round picks, why not? Which is basically just TJ Ford and Hassan Whiteside. We'll keep Todd Gibson around, screw it. Hello, Steph. First seed still, 10 wins better than everybody else in this conference. It's probably a good sign. Got the Sixers out of here. Got the Pacers, almost not out of here, but out of here. Bulls are smoking us currently. Eh, if we lose, we lose. 3-3, three, three. games game seven screw it we won they blew a 3-1 lead get cooked chicago all right thunder <laughs> you know what just show me you guys
guys can win a game. Come on. Come on. Just one game. There you go. We are in the finals. Game three, up by two. 51 seconds ago, the pass down to uh, number 43 AD. Yeah, we're giving out trash varsity numbers. Pass down again to AD against Odin. AD goes left. He gets bumped back out. He puts up the floater. That's all. And oh, the, the layup. That's good. Why is Amari wearing number six? I don't even know what's going on. Kemba pass down again to AD. Anthony crossover. He's going absolutely nowhere. Goes right. Leans in. The layup is good. There you go. 20 seconds to go. Russell, 13 seconds to go. He goes right. Back left. Back right. Back left. Kemba, can you guard him? I don't know. Blocked by Anthony Davis. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, thank God. Jesus. Kevin breaks the hell out the shot. And we've got we've got ourselves a series. We're up 2-1. I definitely thought KD was about to put that in the rim, dog. I thought AD just screwed us over. Should have just left Russell hit the shot. Why not? Look at the well-rounded scoring effort. Good God. Uh, Melo also only had eight and four turnovers. And he fouled out in 25 minutes. So maybe that's why. Talking about give less minutes to Giannis. Do you not know who you're talking about? Man, one point game, one point lead for us. 54 seconds to go. Forgot to change Amari's number. I don't even know who took number one. I have absolutely no clue. Melo is in the game this time around. And Kemba is going to run a pick and roll with Brooke. Go right. The spin pass. Pass away. My God. Oh, it's Brooke versus Robin. Look at them. Them two struggling to get up the court floater by westbrook that's off rebound back out durant's got it kd the screen on the left by that dude kd goes left he'll pull up kd pulls it anyways that's good over over ad to make it a one point lead for them all right kemba corner a ad will pull the three and that is off this bonehead just pulled the three with no hesitation what could his three-pointer possibly give you that bucket by the way his three-pointer is a 73 and he pulled a three down by one with no hesitation i mean we'll still have a chance to tie it up but good god westbrook free throw first is good and both are good no timeouts left i guess kemba walker running it up kemba he's got mellow on the left he's got amari on the right amari's gonna run back out pass it over to kemba kemba for three and it's off the thunder get fouled but they're gonna win this one it's gonna be 2-2 that would have been a huge game to win but kd had to drop 40 westbrook 38 but we why did i mention that we won sorry i forgot it was like a sim you know sometimes i'm in simulation mode and sometimes i'm in rebuild mode you know more for your head top so watch how you speak on my name you know shout out to drake don't shout out to drake he don't need it um okay three three and we are smoking them in game seven so far and yep the smoke is gonna be completed the dynasty continues the rock is in the building shit it's your boy ho uh what the hell oh wait ice rise yeah the knicks used to have this orange paint I, I, that's my whole childhood i'm like why is the paint orange but i forgot damn i don't think i've ever have i played a game on this paint on this orange i probably have why am i tweaking though it feels like i, I feel like i'm looking at a different court Oh, this I know we're blowing him out. Lou Will's in the game. Lou Will doesn't even start or play. Yep, Harden want to dribble it out and really bask in his sadness. A team to dethrone the Thunder. Finally, we've done it. J.R. Smith, Jimmy Butler, Anthony Davis, Giannis, Carmelo, Amari Stoudemire, Michael Beasley, Ryan Anderson. Jermaine O'Neal is jumper for joy in the back over there. Kemba Walker holding the finals MVP trophy. Did he actually win it? He could have, honestly. Here's the stats for this last one. What? Harden? No, not Harden. Pardon. Why, why did Russell Westbrook win finals MVP? One half of me is telling me to stop the video. Another half is telling me to go for another season. Ah, screw it. Well, let's really test the dynasty. Jermaine O'Neal must have torn his ACL while he was jumping. Forget the draft. Don't need it. 80s up to a 91. Amari got even worse. Derek, 68 and 14. We got the best record in the league. And AD made the All-NBA third team, actually. Oh, uh, you know what? I never even looked at the rotation. Jimmy's a starter now. Damn, Giannis did not play all year. Oh, you're going to be playing the playoffs. First round, Atlanta. Get them out of there. Second round, Chicago. Get them out of there. Third round, Miami. Miami. Oh boy. Oh, they're up 3-1. We came back and the Warriors are actually in the finals this year. Forget the Thunder. Well, we're down 3-1 again and it's a game seven, of course, because that's how this game works. Back to back 3-1 comebacks, maybe. And the verdict is in. It is too good to be true. We lost to Jody Meeks. Well, that's it. It's been real. It's been fun, but ain't been real fun. Don't like or subscribe to this channel, Reverse Psychology, or comment in regards to your love and affection for 2013 Pablo Prigioni. And I'm gonna get the hell up and out of here. Good.